It's March 2024, and we just stayed at Tuscany Village Hilton Grand Vacation Club in Orlando, Florida, and we want to tell you all about it. We're going to give you a tour of the resort, a tour of our room, let you know how we got a great deal on this place, and if we can dig it. So with that, let's jump right into it. All right, so Tuscany Village Hilton Grand Vacation Club has a total of seven buildings on the property. We were in building three, and by the map, you can see that's pretty centrally located between both pools and the main areas of the resort. Now, the grounds and the buildings were up kept very nicely, but this is a Hilton Grand Vacation Club, so that does mean it's your typical timeshare resort kind of feel. So these have a little bit more of an apartment style feel rather than a hotel or resort. If you are new to our channel, thank you so much for checking us out. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. We appreciate it. These are the elevator banks. And in our building, as we entered, they had two signs with pretty helpful information. This one is just a little bit about the village and what you can find. And a quick scan of a QR code will get you that information. And then on the other side, they have some information about Tuscany Village and the food and beverage options that are available. There are food and beverage options at both pools. All right, now we're gonna take you up to our room on the third floor and we'll give you a room tour. Now this room that we stayed in is just the studio with a screen balcony, but they have units that go up to three bedrooms for families and those traveling in groups. This studio unit has one bathroom with a single sink and a shower tub combination. Since this was a timeshare property, there was a little kitchenette area with a microwave, coffee maker, sink, toaster, a mini fridge, and there were even dishes and silverware as well. We really enjoyed having this kitchenette space. As you can see, we definitely utilized it, the sink, the mini fridge, and the counter. And this is the closet, complete with hangers, ironing board, iron, luggage rack, and the safe. Now this is just your standard king room with your standard king bed. The bed was fairly comfy, but the pillows kind of got flat quickly. There's two end tables with two lamps and a full length mirror for when you're getting ready. Full dresser and a good sized TV as well with a table and two chairs and another armchair that you can sit in as well. Our favorite feature was this screened in patio with two chairs and a table. We sat here every morning and evening before and after we started our day. And for 364 square feet, this patio definitely helps. Outside of the back of your building, you'll find a paved walkway that goes around the perimeter of the property and around the lake. Now we're gonna walk from our building three up to the clubhouse pool. That bridge in the middle there connects both sides of the resort. And if you wanna to go to the outlet center, you can actually get there right through the resort. And we'll show you that on the map in just a minute. If you're here for a few days enjoying the beautiful Florida weather and want to grill out, they have a space where you can do that while you're here. 
All right, as I mentioned before, this is the bridge that takes you across to the other side of the resort. But what it also does is it takes you to the Orlando Premium Outlets and you can get to the outlets right through the other side of the resort. All you have to do is use your hotel key card and you can walk right to the shops. And after you shop the kids wanna play, they have a covered playground. All right, this is the main clubhouse pool, which we're gonna walk around the back and bring you into. As we walked the property, we could tell that it was pretty well maintained and the landscaping was really beautiful. You can definitely see why this place has four and a half star ratings on Google and TripAdvisor. All right, right outside the clubhouse pool is the Fresco Market and Cafe, where you can get coffee, breakfast sandwiches, pastries, ice cream, snacks, and more. So let's check it out. So this is a mix of a little convenience store, a little specialty store, a little fast casual cafe. They even have alcohol you can purchase. They've got liquor from Grey Goose to Tangeray. They've got wine. They've got all the snacks you'll want for while you're hanging out by the pool. This place is really great to have on site. They have candy, fresh fruit, cereal, all the drinks you can think of back there. They have Edie's fresh ice cream. They have a couple different ice creams that you can get fresh scoops of. And this is the menu for the bar and grill. So they have pizzas, appetizers, and lots of delicious snacks that are yummy by the pool. They also have a case of delicious pastries if you want to grab one of those with your cup of coffee in the morning. One thing to note if you're a Starbucks fan, they do serve Starbucks at this cafe. All right, let's go into the main pool, pool one of two, and let's check it out. Really loving the space here. This is a really big space. They have a splash pad where you can go on and just cool down. This is where the bar is. You can order drinks, cocktails, full bar. This is where you'll also order any food you want while you're sitting outside here in this area. Mm, lots of delicious cocktails that will taste great when you're sitting in the Florida sun. These drinks look absolutely delicious. Lots of chairs, lots of umbrellas, lots of pool. There's a lot of space out here and honestly, it was pretty packed the day we went and it still seemed like there were open chairs and people weren't crowding each other in the pool. So really nice utilization of the space out here. Also back by the bathrooms, they have their towel cabana, but they also have life jackets for those kiddos that need them. They also have games and activities, including trivia and karaoke. They of course have a fitness center, but another amenity they offer is daily fitness classes. 
Now that we've shown you our room and around the resort, let's sit down for our review and recap of our stay at the Hilton Grand Vacation Club Tuscany Village, how we got a great deal on this place, and if we can dig it. All right, everyone, so that's a wrap on our three-day staycation from Tampa here in Orlando, staying at Hilton's Tuscany Village Grand Vacation Club. Yeah, definitely, I would say, and uh, the, overall, I would say it's about a seven out of 10. Yeah. And uh, to start off with, it is one of their timeshare properties. Yeah. And the reason why we came and checked it out was if y'all know, if you belong to any of the Hilton clubs, they send you no more than 100 emails <laughs> a year saying, come check out the experience. So we were, you know, this one time wanted to really come out, yep. give it a fair shake, because, you know, they do have a bad rap. Yeah. And I can say overall, the timeshare presentation, which we couldn't film, wasn't really bad at all. It, yeah. was, it was streamlined, we were in and out of yep. there in two hours, so it wasn't bad. But now the honest review of the property in the room. Mm -hmm. Let's get into that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So the Tuscany Village is where they put us up as part of the timeshare presentation mm -hmm. package. We did the timeshare presentation at the Parc Soleil, which is another Hilton property 10 minutes from here. But the Tuscany Village, I will say 7 out of 10, mostly because of location yeah. and the grounds. Now the room was good. Standard yeah. room, a little bit more of a timeshare feel. You have a little kitchen, you have a patio. John kind of described it the other day as like sitting outside an apartment complex. Yeah, almost. you feel like you're almost like visiting a friend at their apartment complex. Because yeah. the way it's set up, all of the rooms and everything are really, you know, further away from the mm -hmm. pools, the yeah. clubhouse. So once you get over that way, we took a walk yesterday and I was like, oh my goodness, there's so much activity here. Yeah. Because sitting out here, you really would think like, I almost felt like there's not a lot of people staying here. Yeah. And we walked down to the pool, as you can see by the video, there was a lot of people. Yeah. So again, it varies. Uh, it's a little deceiving. Yeah. But I guess they do that purposely. So when you're here relaxing for your vacation, mm -hmm. you can come to your room, relax, not have to hear a bunch of noise. Yeah. When you want to have some fun, just take a little one minute walk down the yeah. path. You know, they have a, a lake that goes around the whole property that you can walk and stuff. So again, it's really great, but it's more set up for like families. I yeah. Think. So some of the pros are they have two pools, not just one, they have two. Um, there's a larger one with like water fountains. A lot of the kids were at. There's a pool bar. Mm -hmm. There's a restaurant you can grab snacks and food from. The other pool is a little bit further away. It's still pretty sizable, but none of like the water uh, features or anything. But that one's a little bit more quiet. I think a lot more of the adults yeah, go definitely. to that one where the families go to the main one. Yeah, I mean, I would mm -hmm. probably wouldn't stay here again unless it was like maybe a one night trip. Yeah, we, we, we stayed here because this was part of the timeshare package. So we did get a deal on the room for the price that we paid and having to go through the presentation. It's a good property. Yeah. The grounds are really nice. Yeah, They're really, really nice. well maintained. And they have things like trivia, karaoke. Yeah. They have a couple different activities through the week um, to really keep people entertained. And when you're not at the parks or shopping or doing something, yeah. you have stuff to do here at the, at the resort. Yeah, definitely. And they have a coffee shop on site. They have everything you need. Again, it's, it definitely has a resort feel to it. Yeah. Um, but once you get away from the actual resorty stuff, and get back to your room, you kind of feel like you're, again, just hanging out at a friend's apartment for the weekend. Yeah. So a couple of the cons are, you know, the couple quirky things, like, yeah. for example, we called down to the front desk for some towels. They preference that you text them. So you're getting, you know, something that you need, you're going to get it through text rather than calling that. We call concierge, we call front desk. Nobody was answering. I actually tried to get some towels from the housekeeping staff right outside the room. They wouldn't even give me any towels. <laughs> they said that all the towels were accounted for for each room, which yeah. is a little weird and quirky, yeah. but it makes sense. But yeah, if you need something from the front desk, they're going to text you. Use the text feature because that's the really that's the way to get a hold of them. Yeah, definitely. You know, and the beds were, were standard too. Mm -hmm. um, pillows were a little flat, but that's just stuff you deal with anytime you stay anywhere. But overall, yeah, overall. like John said, 7 out of 10. Solid experience. Mm -hmm. wouldn't necessarily choose this property as a first choice again but if it was one of the things out here in Orlando that we you know need to come out here and it was available for a decent price wouldn't mind yeah, staying here again. absolutely without a doubt and like I said you know, the great thing is you know the balcony so you can kind of sit outside even though it's not huge that Florida and life you, know, you can kind of step <laughs> outside for a second when you first wake up have your coffee and stuff like that so it does have a lot more of a timeshare feel yeah. than, a, than a hotel you don't have that energy as soon as you walk out of your hotel or as soon as you walk out the door you know, immediately kind of come into that energy of people moving and hearing people on vacation. It's more like, yeah. again, like I'm walking out, getting ready to go to work, like walk out to your car. It's very yeah. like kind of quiet and stuff like that. So some people could really appreciate that too. So it really has something for everybody. Uh, and again, if you are getting those emails from the help, <laughs> definitely check it out. I think yeah. it's worth it. I mean, and we got a hundred dollar MasterCard gift card for yeah. going. So it was two hours of our time. And honestly, what we'll say is, they were not really pushing no, they, they weren't. really no. weren't no. like we told them how much we travel they got to know you in that two hours but at the end of it no one was sitting here like you really need or this is a deal of a lifetime yeah, no. none of that they, they were, were just like okay guys well yeah. we appreciate you taking the time go downstairs get your gift card i mean i can honestly say because we've heard some nightmare stories and y'all out there 
Let us know too. I'm sure y'all have been to timeshare presentations where it's a pressure cooker. Yeah. But this really wasn't, and I can honestly tell you. Now I could see how, you know, you can really kind of maybe get whirled into the whole thing. Oh, but yeah. Just go in there with an open mind, hear what they have to say, and you know, definitely take advantage of getting yeah. a room for, you know, three nights for what it would normally cost for just one one night out of the Yeah, we got hotel. the we got three nights in this room for two hundred and fifty dollars as part of the package. Yeah. And then we got the hundred dollar gift card as well. So yeah. honestly, really great deal for a quick staycation weekend yep. and you know Yeah, minus yeah. the gift card, we literally paid 150 bucks for the yeah. room for three nights. So mm -hmm. again, if you get those things from Hilton Grand Vacation Club, definitely check it out. Do it's it. definitely worth it. Um, and if the timeshares aren't for you, just like it's not for us, that's fine too. But hey, why not take advantage? Take you know advantage what? of the deal. Yeah, they're making these offers for a reason. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we were there. They had 250 families there for the first timeshare presentation. That was at 9.30 in the morning. Yeah. So, so. you know, <laughs> they get you through that. The, the reason why I'm saying that to y'all is they get you through there fairly quickly. Yeah. They don't have time to sit there and just pressure cook you all yeah. the time to get you to buy something. But overall, Great experience, you know, good job to Hilton on the property, but again, seven out of 10. Yeah. Would stay here again on a whim, maybe a night or two, but wouldn't be my first choice. Yeah, so thanks guys for tuning in. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching this review and recap. Absolutely. If you guys like this, give us a thumbs up, share, comment, even subscribe if you want to see more content like this. It really helps our channel grow. Absolutely. All right, till next time. Cheers. Cheers.